Hey, how's it going? My name is Serena and welcome to my studio. What brands of alcohol inks are out there? What are the benefits and drawbacks of each brand? I'm going to be answering these questions and more in today's edition of Alcohol Inks A to Z. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel using the subscribe button to get weekly videos all about alcohol inks including exclusive information on techniques, hints, tips, and tricks. So today I'm going to be reviewing eight brands of alcohol inks. Here you can see I have a bunch of different bottles. The brands I've got here are Chameleon, Art C, Spectrum Noir, Piñata in the Large Size, Copix, Zig Curacolor, Pop Marker, Piñata in the Small Size, and Tim Holtz Ranger. These are all the brands I'm aware of and I want to note that for this video comparison when I say alcohol inks I mean alcohol inks that come in containers big enough to extract or pour them to work with them. Alcohol inks actually were available in marker form first and then they eventually started to become available in bottles as refills for markers as well as pourable bottles designed to be poured right onto a surface such as Yupo paper. You'll see Tombow isn't on this list because even though they make alcohol ink markers, they don't offer bottles of just the ink, and you can't pour the ink from a Tombow marker and have enough to work with. Also, as the medium grows in popularity, more companies will be jumping on board and creating them, but as of today, these are the brands I'm aware of. I'm not going to be doing a direct comparison because not all colors are consistent across all brands and some brands carry many more colors than others. So I'm going to focus more on the sizes each brand comes in, how many colors each brand carries, etc. I'm also not going to be covering light fastness because I have an entire other video devoted to light fastness and fading in alcohol inks. First, let's talk about Tim Holtz Ranger alcohol inks. As of today, the Ranger line has 61 colors. Here I'm going to show you the color chart for Tim Holtz Ranger inks so that you can see all 61 colors. The Ranger line also has 7 mixatives including 5 metallics, 1 pearlescent, and 1 opaque white. Mixatives are colors that have special effects such as gold or silver, but because they're different from regular alcohol inks in a few ways, I'm going to be covering them in a separate video. The Tim Holtz Ranger alcohol inks are available individually and some places also sell three pack sets. Now some of you might have also seen these Adirondack alcohol inks that have this mountain pattern on the label which is also by Ranger and you might be asking what's the difference? Ranger used to have an Adirondack mountain line of products that included alcohol inks but now alcohol inks are their own line within Ranger so there isn't any difference aside from the labels. The Ranger bottles contain 14.7 mils or 0.5 ounces of ink. The bottles are round and shorter. You can see that the labels go all the way around the bottle and are colored to match the color of the ink. The name of the color is right on the front of the bottle, although some people might find the writing hard to read because it's fairly small. They have a black cap with tapered end that's ribbed and fairly easy to grip and take off or put back on which is important because as you work with the inks, it can sometimes get messy and when your hands are wet and dripping with ink, you may not want to be fumbling around with a cap, trying to get it off and staining the cap in the process. However, depending on how you store them, it can be challenging to figure out what color you're using just by looking at the caps, or if you're looking at the inks from above. The nozzle is tall and thin with a small opening. The Ranger nozzle is designed in a pretty ingenious way where it draws a bead of ink up into it and that bead actually forms a seal so that your inks down in the bottle don't evaporate too quickly. The nice thing is you don't have to worry about capping them right away because of this feature. So I'll just tip it over and you can see how fast the drops come out with no pressure at all. You can see that when I tip it over it still drips but the inks don't really come gushing out. Now I'm adding a little bit of pressure to the bottle. 
Finally, I did some swatches of a red, a blue, a green, and a yellow in each of the eight brands. And as I said at the beginning of this video, they're not meant to be identical from company to company. I just want to show you a sample of each of those four colors across the brands. So here for our red, we have Poppy Field. For our blue, we have Sailboat Blue. For our green, we have Patina. And for our yellow, we have Dandelion. So that's the Tim Holtz Ranger line of alcohol inks. Next, let's talk about Copics, also pronounced Copics. The regular Copic markers are fairly small and don't have a big capacity, and the inks don't really flow freely from them. But you can buy refills, and the idea behind the refills is you buy the regular marker, and when that runs out of ink, you buy a refill bottle and use that to replenish the markers. There's actually enough ink in the refills to fill a regular Copic marker seven to nine times. So instead of throwing your markers away each time, you just keep refilling them. Those refill bottles are great because the ink flows freely from them. Copic inks currently come in 358 colors, which is by far the biggest selection of colors of any alcohol ink brand at the moment. Here's the color chart for Copics, and because these are fairly hard to see, I have links to the color charts right on my website. Here's another view of the colors in the form of a color wheel. The capacity for the refill is 25 mils or 0.85 fluid ounces. This is an alcohol ink refill bottle on the right next to a regular Copic marker on the left for comparison. These bottles are long and square, so they won't roll around when you put them down, but they don't usually stay upright for long just by themselves. You can store them sideways or upright, although because they're so long and skinny, you either need a container with slots like the one here to store them upright, or put enough of them in a container so that they keep each other up. Because of its square shape, it's easy to grip the cap to take it off. The top of the cap is where you can find the color number and name, and the top of the cap is colored to match. One thing they do that I like is they have the numbers and colors in white for the darker colors, and they have the numbers and colors listed in black on the lighter colors, which provides good contrast. Unlike the larger label on the Ranger inks, which wraps around the whole bottle and gives you a quick visual of the color even if you don't see the name, there's only one small spot to find the color or number on the Copic inks. The nozzle is taller and thinner, but the opening is wider than the Tim Holtz Ranger bottles. So I'll just tip it over and you can see how fast the drops come out with no pressure at all. So you can see the ink just drips right out with no signs of stopping, so you have to be extra careful. And now I'm adding a little bit of pressure to the bottle and not surprisingly, it comes out really easily. Finally, here are the swatches I made off camera. We've got Copic R39 or Garnet for our red, B18 Lapis Lazuli for our blue, G09 or Veronese Green for our green, and finally Y08 or Acid Yellow for our yellow. So that's it for the Copic inks. Next we have Spectrum Noir Re-Inkers. Spectrum Noir are available as markers and, like the Copics, they carry refills that work really well for free-flowing alcohol ink art. Spectrum Noir comes in 168 colors, which is the second largest selection of any brand. So here's the color chart for Spectrum inks. The inks arrive in this box, and when you open the box, you see that it has a plastic insert with the bottle of ink and a dropper. The bottles contain 30 mils, or one ounce of alcohol ink. 
Unlike the Ranger and Copic inks, the Spectrum inks come in glass bottles, and this is the second largest bottle outside the large size piñata. On the front of the label, you can see the color code, along with the matching color, and there's a strip on the side of the label that's also colored to match what's inside, along with the color code. I like that the color is in two separate places on the bottle, in case you grab it with ink-covered hands and accidentally stain part of the label that lists the color. This way you have another part of the label that also lists the color as backup. Looking at the cap, you can see that it's black and fairly wide and flat at the top. I would have liked to have the color listed on the top as well so that I could see the colors from the top if I was storing a bunch of these together. There's ribbing on the cap which makes it fairly easy to grip and remove. Some people might prefer that it's a glass bottle. Others might not like it because glass means breakable. If it falls on its side or rolls away from you, it might break. But it's a fairly sturdy bottle that has a good height to width ratio, so it doesn't look like it's terribly easy to knock over. Now let's open it up. You can see that instead of a nozzle, there's this accompanying dropper, which is nice because it allows you to control the amount of ink. But if you're working on a large piece, you have to re-dip the dropper in the ink, and for some people this might interrupt workflow, as opposed to ink brands where you can just continuously use the ink right from the bottle. The other thing some people might not like is you have this ink cover dropper that you have to store in addition to the bottle, which is why I don't throw away the box, I store everything together, since the plastic insert has a place for the dropper that keeps it off your surfaces. So now I'll just dip the dropper into the ink and draw some up. And you can see how fast the drops come out with no pressure at all. And now I'm adding a little bit of pressure to the dropper. Finally, here are the swatches. We have DR1, which is our red, TB6, which is our blue, JG3 for our green, and CT2, which is our yellow. So those are the Spectrum Noir reinkers. Now let's talk about Jacquard Piñata. Jacquard Piñata makes 16 alcohol ink colors. You can buy them individually or as part of what's called an exciter pack, which includes nine bottles. Here's the color chart for Piñata. The circled colors are mixatives and metallics, which I cover in a separate video. The Piñata alcohol inks and all the mixatives are available in two sizes. The smaller bottle, which is 14.7 mils or 0.5 ounces, and the larger bottle, which is 118 mils or 4 ounces. The small bottle is short and round and very similar to the Ranger bottle. There's a strip on the front top of the label that matches the color of the ink. Although it isn't very large, and personally, I would have preferred to have a larger section devoted to showing the color. The color name is right on the front of the bottle, although similar to the Ranger bottle, it's small and some might find the writing hard to read. The caps are also similar to Ranger, although these have a tapered white cap instead of a tapered black cap so you're more likely to stain these caps than rangers if you're handling them with ink-covered hands. Because they're ribbed, they're fairly easy to grip and take off or put back on. Now the larger 4-ounce piñata bottle is round, but much taller, although it seems to have a stable height to width ratio, so you don't have to worry about it easily toppling over. Just like the smaller size, there's a strip on the front top of the label that matches the color of the ink and the color name is right on the front of the bottle. It's got a wide round white ribbed cap, which can also be easy to stain, and there's no nozzle or spout, which means it can be challenging to use right out of the bottle if you want to control how much comes out. Some people will find it easier to transfer some of the ink to smaller, easier to use bottles, or just use a pipette or dropper. The only consideration with using a pipette or dropper is then you have to worry about storing them. The large size doesn't have a nozzle, but the small one does. It's a taller, narrower one, although not as narrow as Ranger's. So I'll just tip it over and you can see how fast the drops come out with no pressure. And now I'm adding a little pressure to the bottle. 
So these come out of the bottle fairly easily. Finally, these are our swatches. For red, we have one called Chili Pepper. Our blue is called Baja Blue. The green is called Rainforest Green. And our yellow is called Sunbright Yellow. So those are the Jacquard Piñata alcohol inks. Next we have Art C alcohol inks, which are from a company called Momenta. They're available in 18 colors. So here's the color chart for Art C. Now when I contacted Momenta, they didn't have an official color chart, so I just made my own since I own every Art C color. This handmade color chart is currently available on my website. Artsy inks are available in six different packages that each include three bottles of 20 mils or 0.68 ounces. You can only buy them in pre-selected sets of three. Some people might not like that you can't buy these individually, and if you only want one color but not the other two, you're out of luck because you have to buy them together. This bottle is shorter than the others, but instead of round, it's oval, which some people might find easier to grip. The oval shape also means if it's knocked over, it's not likely to roll away. On the front is a label which includes a swatch of the color and the name of the color, but the swatch isn't very big and neither is the name of the color, so some people might have a hard time reading it. The cap is clear, tapered, and easily gets stained if you grab it with stained hands. It's also worth mentioning that inside the cap there's a little plastic nub that fits into the nozzle opening when the cap is screwed on and you have to line it up perfectly with the opening or you'll have trouble closing the cap. The nozzle itself is tall and narrow but the opening is wider so I'll just tip it over and you can see how fast the drops come out with no pressure at all. Now I'm adding a little bit of pressure to the bottle. For our swatches, I have a red, which is just called red, a blue, which is just called blue, a green called moss green, and a yellow, which is simply called yellow. So those are the Art C alcohol inks. Now let's talk about Chameleon inks, which, like the Copic and Spectrum Noir brands, carries markers as well as ink refills. Chameleon inks are available in 50 colors. Here's the color chart from Chameleon, which is in the form of a color wheel. Each bottle contains 25 mils, or 0.84 ounces, of alcohol ink. The bottles come in a box, so let's open that up. You can see that the box also comes with a 1 mil syringe and blunt tip to extract the ink, an instruction card to show you how to draw up the inks, and a cloth. The bottle is fairly short and wide. It's actually the shortest bottle of all the brands. One advantage of having such a short wide bottle is it's more difficult to knock it over and spill the ink. The label wraps around and has a section which shows the color code, the color name, and the color itself. The cap is larger in black, which means it's harder to see staining when you take it off or put it back on with ink-covered hands. It also has these deep grooves that make it fairly easy to grip. Like Spectrum Noir, the Chameleon refills don't have nozzles. Instead, there's this accompanying syringe, which is nice because it allows you to control the ink 
but if you're working on a large piece, you have to re-dip the end into the ink, and this can interrupt some people's workflow. You also have this syringe that you have to store in addition to the bottle. So just like Spectrum Noir, I don't throw away the box, I use it to store everything together. One thing that I like about these inks is that they come with an absorbent cloth that you can wipe away excess ink with. I'm going to draw up some ink using the syringe. When I don't apply pressure, no ink comes out at all. So this is what happens when I apply light pressure to the end. And this is what happens when I apply a little bit more pressure. Finally, these are our swatches. For red, we have RD4 or Crimson Red. Our blue is BL6 or Royal Blue. Our green is GR3 or Grass Green. And finally, our yellow is YL2 or Summer Sun. So that's the Chameleon brand of inks. Zig Curacolor is another brand that carries markers as well as refills. The Zig Curacolor inks come in 135 colors, which is the third largest selection of all the alcohol ink brands. Here's the color chart that was generously sent to me by the folks at Marker Supply. You can see that it's handmade, and some of the colors that have black dots near them are missing because those were new colors that hadn't been released yet. Here's another Zig color chart with all 135 colors. Each bottle contains 25 mils or 0.85 ounces of alcohol ink. This bottle is fairly tall and narrow, so it's a little easier to knock over. There's only one small white stickered label on the side which has the color number and the color name under it in smaller font. Personally, I wish the label was larger and had some picture of the color on it like the other brands, and I also prefer the color name or code to have a more prominent place on the bottle. The caps are ribbed in white, with a tapered tip sticking up. I find it's easier to grip the lower part of the cap because that tip is too narrow and smooth to get a really good grip on it, especially if your hands are covered in ink. The white color will show staining, which some people may prefer because it alerts them if there's ink on it, but others might not prefer because it makes the caps look messy. Also, the bottles are sold sealed, so you have to use a safety pin or a thumbtack or a paper clip or something very sharp and narrow that fits into the nozzle to poke it open, which some people might find a pain but it also prevents the ink from leaking out before it gets opened by you. Now on the side of the bottle is a small picture showing a push pin going into the nozzle to unseal. It also says, be sure to clear any ink from the nozzle by tapping it sharply before piercing the nozzle. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I stick a paper clip in the nozzle. As you can see, the ink goes all over, so I like to have some paper towel or tissue around the nozzle and make sure I'm wearing gloves when I open it for the first time. Now I'm going to show you how I prefer to open new bottles. The nozzle has a reasonably wide opening, and when I tip it over you can see it doesn't drip out as fast as the Copics, but it will still drip. Now this is what happens when I apply light pressure to the bottle. Finally, these are my swatches, 285 or blood red, 317 or blue, 508 or just green, and finally 106 or yellow. 
So those are the Zig Cura Color Alcohol Inks. Finally, we have this brand called Pop Marker, which I ordered off eBay from a seller in China. They have eight colors, which is the most limited color selection of any brand. Each bottle contains 25 mils, or 0.85 ounces, of alcohol ink. These inks arrive more than eight weeks after ordering them. These are the bottles, and each of the bottles came in a little box. As you can see, there was some spillage during shipping. On the front is a label, and the only writing in English on the bottle is Our Trink Pop Marker. There's also a strip on the bottom with the color and some writing on the strip, but it's not in English. These bottles are shaped different than the others. They're rectangular at the base and fairly narrow, so they're easier to knock over. It's got a black cap that's ribbed. When you open it up, you see that you actually have to cut the tip of the nozzle off to access the inks inside. So now I'm just going to turn the bottle over and I'm not applying any pressure at all. Now I'm applying just a little bit of pressure to the bottle so you can see how fast the inks come out. Now the lower you cut the nozzle, the larger the opening is going to be, the faster the ink will come out. Now for my swatches, I have a red, a blue, and a yellow, which don't have names that I can read. This set didn't have green, instead they had this deep brownish yellow, so I decided to swatch that instead. So those are the pop marker inks. Now that we've gone through all of the brands, here's a list summary for those of you that really like lists and rankings. For color range, rated from largest color range to smallest color range, in first place we have Copics at 358 colors. Next we have Spectrum Noir Reinkers with 168 colors. Then we have Zig Cura Color, which has 135 colors. In fourth place, we have Tim Holtz Ranger with 61 colors. In fifth place, we have Chameleon with 50 colors. In sixth place, we have Art C with 18 colors. In seventh place, we have Jacquard Piñata with 16 colors. And finally, with Pop Marker, we have eight colors. Our next ranking is largest bottle size to smallest bottle size. In first place, we have Jacquard Piñata Large at 118 mils or 4 ounces. Next, we have Spectrum Noir at 30 mils or 1 ounce. In third place, we have a tie between Chameleon, Copic, Pop Marker, and Zig Cura Color, all 25 mils or 0.85 ounces. In fourth place, we have Art C, 20 mils or 0.68 ounces. And finally, the smallest bottles are Jacquard Piñata in the small size and Tim Holtz Ranger, both 14.7 mils or 0.5 ounces. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this review of all eight alcohol ink brands. So what's your favorite brand and why? Let me know in the comments and make sure to hit subscribe to be the first to know when I release new videos. Future videos will include metallics and mixatives, blending solutions, surfaces to use alcohol inks on, and so much more. So hit subscribe and I'll see you soon. Cheers!